Hey there, hope you're having a good day today. My name is Jordan, if you didn't know. Uh, I, I realize, you know, most people who have seen my channel now have seen my video from Belle Isle of me flying my drone there. And I didn't talk in that. So this is a bit of like a first introduction. And if this is the first time you're hearing me, well, once again, hello. I wanted to show a speed edit of the photos that I took on that same day, that same trip out to Belle Isle. I also just wanted to kind of talk more about my plans for my channel. So going forward, I do want to do more stuff like my drone montage because I, I, I honestly love flying drones. That's that's why I love video the most. But other than that, I really enjoy photography more than just about anything. And so I want to do things like speed edits like this, showing you the different ways that I could put a photo together. It's kind of funny because you can see some of my mistakes. I'm recording this audio right now separately, so I'm not watching, but yeah, there's definitely some mistakes that I made in there or some like, oh, that, that did not look good, <laughs> but that's kind of something I do want to show because like, you know, that's part of my creation process. I think there's some value in showing that. So what do I hope to bring to an audience? Going forward, I really just want this channel to be meaningful. I want this channel to be meaningful not only to me, but to my audience, whoever that may be, and that I can offer something of value that helps me become a better creator, a better photographer, better drone filmmaker, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and also just something that provides something of value to people who watch it. There's definitely a lot of ideas that I have about the different things I wanna create and wanna share with you. And right now it's just about finding the right way to go about it. Sometimes that means speed edits, like today. Sometimes it's drone footage, like other days. But the main thing that I want to do, I want to make something that is genuine to who I am as a content creator, but is also appealing to you as an audience. There's definitely a way to create meaningful content without, you know, feeling like, you know, I'm only making it for myself. So that means starting where I'm at, and that means starting here with the speed edit. So some people may not know this about Michigan slash Metro Detroit, but the Great Lakes is a really major shipping channel for not only the state of Michigan, but for North America and one of the largest shipping channels in the world. There are four Great Lakes that border the state of Michigan. I'll throw up a map just to show what I'm talking about. When you get on the Great Lakes, depending on where you are, you can see different freighters and ships pass by. And so when I was out in Belle Isle taking the drone footage, I was actually there a little bit after because I, I was just cold and I was debating on leaving or trying to see if I could catch a ship. And, you know, I pulled up a website on my phone just to see if I could find one. Saw that there was one heading north and I was able to get this. I've always been interested in the ships that pass along the Detroit River. And although I didn't know this at the time, I thought this was just another freighter. This ship is named the Alpina, named after Alpina, Michigan. If anyone's from Alpina, shout out Alpina. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll see how many people react to that. But the Alpina has a very long history. So the Alpina actually is the oldest operating steam freighter on the Great Lakes. And it was originally built all the way back in 1942. It was built as a Leon Frazier for the Pittsburgh Steamship Company in Cleveland, Ohio. It's maiden voyage, you know, the first time it launched. It actually did a trip from Detroit, Michigan to Duluth. And I just so happened to catch this in Detroit when I was there. The name changed once the ship was transferred to different ownership in 1991. It was purchased by Inland Lakes Management, who currently still runs the ship, and it's named after Alpina because that is where the company is based. I'll show the final edits, like, you know, at the end, but still, at like, you know, if you want to get, like, a better look, I'll throw them up on my blog, which is, yeah, which is where I post most of my photos now. I don't really post on uh, Instagram or social media, but that's where my photos are and if you want to take a look at them and maybe see some of the other stuff you can find them there but yeah that's really what i plan for this and yeah <laughs> we'll see where this goes and i look forward to making more content and it won't always be this meta i guess like i don't think i'll always be addressing about like you know the state of the channel it's not that interesting but i definitely want to be I definitely want to communicate with my audience, so that will always be a part of this. So yeah, but yeah, once again, 
thank you. Look forward to things going forward. So thank you once again. If you want to see the final photos, I'll leave a link to my blog where you can look at them. If you want to check out that video from Bell Isle that I was talking about with my drone, I'll leave a link to that too. I'll put one in the card as well. And yeah, just consider subscribing so you can stay up to date. And you know, if if you're from Metro Detroit, I, I would love to hear, it. or if you're from anywhere, you know, around the world and you're like, this, this is a bit interesting. Leave a comment, let me know. Um, always cool to find out more about people who are watching my videos and I appreciate your time and your presence here. It makes a difference. Thank you so much and have a good day.